Unfortunately, you know, we still are in a situation of trying to be made whole. Born and raised in Flint, Michigan, speaking up is part of Dewan Robinson's spirit. He was one of the many voices screaming for justice 10 years ago at the beginning of the Flint water crisis. A move to save money by switching the city's water source changed the lives of people in Flint forever. The Flint River has a, a long history. You're talking about the toxins that was through in there from GM. You're talking about the car parts, the dead bodies, the, all these different elements that's in the water in, in, in the Flint River. That was a terrible source. When folks are putting profits over people, then those are the decisions that's being made. Like you don't care about a group of people because this is a majority black city. That was a terrible decision made, right? And they paid a, paid a, big, um, paid a big price for it. The crisis sparked outrage from Michigan to the nation's capital. You know, we have a lot of children that have been impacted by the water crisis. We have a lot of families that have moved out of the city of Flint. We have lost a number of school buildings in that time. Um, we've been going through many transitions. And so it's just very difficult to really just kind of talk about the epidemic of the water crisis and all that entails. But he credits the activists, the everyday men and women in his town, for standing up and bringing the eyes of the world to his city. If the people and the activists on the ground, the folks, the day-to-day -day that was in and out of the city just helping and passing out water, um, seeing water being brown coming out their faucet, if they never spoke up, we wouldn't even got the national attention that we received. And people wouldn't even know about the Flint water crisis. Their fight and push for justice is why he says he won't be satisfied until every lead service line in Flint is gone. It's been a decade for something that should have took a couple years, but it's been prolonged, dragged out. And like when I say when people feel like we've been lost and forgotten, that's a real feeling. It's a hurtful one because we left holding the bag. It's why he'll continue to fight for clean water, not just in Flint, but around the nation, especially as the EPA and the Biden administration urge cities and states to replace their own lead pipes. If there's anything um, you would like to have states and cities, municipalities to know, mm -hmm. what would it be, Duan? We need to be visionary about our actions. If we're gonna really change the system, it's gonna start with the people in place of the system. So let this be a lesson or a reminder, because this can happen to you. This can happen anywhere. It's disaster taking place every day. But the question is gonna be, what did you do about it? And he encourages Americans to speak up if they feel unheard. So it's up to us as residents, it's up to us as constituents, be the difference, get involved, understand what's going on in your municipality. Understand roles and responsibilities of elected officials. Understand who is responsible to make those decisions and who is responsible to fix them.